Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Sparks Toyota in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they are letting me show you this 2015 Toyota Highlander. And this is a very interesting vehicle, has a lot of features, very stylish, and it seats eight people. And it doesn't look like a big Bodhi SUV. This is a pretty decent size, but not, not too huge, but eight people. Now, third row seat, you know, eight three adults back there I don't know about that but they do advertise that it seats eight people so here let's take a look at it it has pretty sharp looking 18 inch aluminum wheels four-wheel disc brakes give you a profile shot there and here in the front we have some projector headlights powered by halogen bulbs and you have on the low beam side High beams are reflector halogens, give you a nice flood light. Then you have the halogen fog lights there at the bottom. Really classy looking SUV, really nice. So, one of the features it has, it has a proximity key, which this is the key right here. And all I need to do is have this in my pocket or in my, you know, purse or whatever. Then I can just basically touch the handle. It unlocks. Um, to relock it, I just push, just put my finger there. Now it's running, so it's not going to lock. But this is the way you lock it. And you just put your hand there, unlocks it. And it does have the push button start. So you can literally work, use this vehicle without ever taking the key out of your pocket. So here's the inside of the passenger door. Really nice looking. It's got a combination of black, tan, a little bit of brown there accenting, and some metallic surfaces there. Of course, you have some a bottle holder and some storage space in the door. You have manual adjustments on the seats here on the passenger side. Very comfortable tan leather seats with some pretty decent bolstering. And here, all the way across from here, all the way to the middle, this is like a little storage pocket here, which you can get in and put stuff in there. Uh, you have some pockets there on the door, and then you have that storage space there on the door, in the uh, right there in the dash, right in front of you. In addition to the glove compartment, which is a pretty decent size, but just usually cluttered. So I like the way they have other pockets, other storage areas. So here's the back, plenty of leg room. There's the inside of the door. And what's cool about this, it has the privacy glass. The windshield is a UV resist, like a, it blocks the UV rays. And also, you've got these shades here to where you can um, roll these up and hook them right there. So you've got some extra ability on a hot day to like today. That's a really nice feature to keep the sun out of, out, off of you. So check out the leg room. Tons of leg room back here, tons of room, very comfortable. You got that center armrest, which will use as it has cup holders, but also you can push it out of the way. This one does have the Blu ray system, entertainment system. You have tri zone climate control back here, so you can, the backseat drivers can adjust their own climate control. Plus, you have um, a power supply down there, an AC adapter, 100 watt. 120 volt AC adapter like Edison plug plus you have some video inputs for your uh, For your uh, your your player there your entertainment system so these seats will fold down and Also slide forward like so so that way you can Kind of climb in there. There's the step there and then you can get into the back seat now you can see the back seat it's pretty good size but uh, it does have you know the ability to put three people back there and like I said three adults might be a little stretch but hey usually it's kids that sit in the back seat the third row seat anyway so um, they should have plenty of room alrighty alright let's so let's move on to the back and so there's a couple ways of opening up the, the back here. I can use the key, which has the button on it. And I can push and hold it, and it'll lift up. 
but since the vehicle's running right now it's not going to you know work with the key so there's a button under here i could push that and it opens it up all right so back here you have a little bit of cargo area but these third row seats are really easily to fold down uh, you can adjust them so you can lift this up and you can adjust them they do recline uh, but you can also you know fold them right on down like so so you're doubling uh, your cargo capacity now you can fold the second fold down the second row of seats as well and that way you really have some good cargo capacity and you can have a combination of cargo and passengers so that's really cool because all those seats has a 60 40 split and the second and third row all right got a light there now this right here lifts up and this is where you find your uh, tools for your spare tire and some storage capacity stuff down here spare tire I believe is uh, underneath the vehicle just under this area maybe you can let me know if it's under there <laughs> alrighty so closing this down now you can make it to where it doesn't go all the way up in case you have a low ceiling or something or low garage uh, or if you just can't reach it by pushing and holding this button you just put it in the position that you want and then you can push that button but I'm gonna go ahead and just let me show you how it stops you can position it right where you want like let's say you want to stop it right there push and hold that for two seconds it beeps at you and now when it lifts up it'll stop right there I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that by lifting it all the way up push that hold it all right, so now I want to lower it. And it closes this down for you. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Take a look at the 3.5 liter V6 and the six speed automatic transmission. Hopefully it will not be covered up with, yes, it's covered up with plastic, so, oh well. It's covered up in plastic, but there is a V6 engine under the, all that plastic there that will give you plenty of power to move this vehicle even when you have eight people in it. And, uh, and also the six-speed automatic transmission gives you plenty of gear ratios to cycle through. All right, let's take a look on the inside. All right, so here we are on the inside. Toyota Highlander very impressed the seats very comfortable it has a power seat I can go up and down it's like a dentist chair I can go back and forth plenty of leg room plenty of knee room it does have a place to put my left foot here to rest it so let's go ahead and start here on the left on the door we do have I apologize for the air conditioning, but it is a hot day, so hopefully it won't interfere too much. So, you get the power windows, automatic there on the front, regular on the back. When I say that, when I just push the button, it'll automatically go all the way down just by pushing it. The same thing with going up. Pretty neat. So, um, so the back windows, you actually have to hold them to go up and down. Power door locks are there. You can turn off the back windows if you want so the rear passengers can't roll it up and down their pat their their windows uh, usually suitable for kids and stuff and so the side mirrors are adjusted with this little joystick you just have to choose left or right and then you can adjust it all right so just right here there's a bunch of blank buttons but there is a couple buttons here uh, this one is to open up your tailgate you just push and hold that and it will open it up or close it also this is a pretty neat button. This will, turning that on, will turn on a heater that's just below the windshield wipers. And it helps to de-ice the windshield wipers when they're stuck. So, um, so on a really cold day, and there's you know maybe freezing rain or snow or something like that, and the windshield wipers are kind of like buried in ice and snow and all that stuff, you can turn that on, and it'll turn on a heater right just below them on the windshield, and it will completely free them up and, uh, and that way you can you know get on faster 
So that's a pretty neat feature. So down here, we've got a little little change purse thing, I guess, for putting change or something small in there. And then your fuel door uh, button is down here. This will open up the fuel door. Alrighty, so let's check out the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel is leather wrapped, very high end looking and feeling, high quality. And it is stitched on the inside. It has these bolsters here to, uh, so you can get a good grip. So here on the left, uh, there, once you pair your cell phone, you can answer calls, hang up calls there. It does have voice recognition to where you can call people, um, you know, say call J John or whatever, whatever's in your phone book, you push that button and you can, you know, recognize your voice. You can also use it for changing through the stations and going to different navigation points, stuff like that. You do have the ability to, you know, change the volume on your radio here. Mode is like AM, FM, satellite radio, um, Bluetooth audio, that's your mode button there. And then, then you can cycle through like your presets and stuff on the radio with that button. Here on the right, well back here, we have your uh, cruise control. You just have to push this button to turn it on. Once it's on, you can set it by pushing it down and you can adjust your speed by going up and down. To cancel it, you just pull it in. And you can always turn it off by pushing that button again. So here on the right of the steering wheel, we have some buttons here, and they correspond with this screen here in the center of the gauges. Now you can see the gauges are very simple, easy to read, uh, very high-end looking. You got your RPMs there on your left, as well as your temperature. Your um, speedometer there to the right is with your gas gauge. So the center screen has a bunch of information. One thing is telling me it's 103 degrees outside, which I know is hot. So. Uh, <laughs> So it's giving me the outside temperature, plus it's giving me the, uh, you know, what gear I'm in. So right now I'm in park. At the very bottom, it's showing me the, uh, the trip A, so you can have different trips there. So let me go ahead and cycle through the menu system using these buttons here to show you. So right now we're in the current miles per gallon. I can scroll to the right and it gives me a compass. So the vehicle's facing in the direction of that red little triangle there on the wide side. So, you know, we're facing kind of east. All right, scrolling to the right shows me what my radio is doing, which my radio is off. It's going to the right again, gives me me any stored messages would be right there. And then it goes to settings. So settings, you can change your language, units, all that kind of cool stuff. So let me go back. All right, and then scroll again, gives, goes back to that screen. So basically you got a lot, a lot of different screens there. Now right here with the eye information screen, I can push down and this will give me more information. So scrolling down, uh, eco indicator, and then you have a blank screen. So you've got your miles per gallon, your range, um, all that good stuff. Pushing to the right here, um, you know, just goes out of that and then it goes into the different menu options. Alrighty, so on this left side here is your headlight control and it does have daytime running lights which you can turn those off by going all the way down right there you can go to automatic mode where it cycles it automatically turns on the headlights when it's time and then you've got your parking lights and then your headlights there and then I highly recommend the automatic mode uh, the for variety reasons one is that you know automatically turns your headlights on sometimes the daytime running lights are kind of bright so you may not realize you're driving around with your lights off so your tail lights aren't burning or anything so you know that's a good thing to have automatic so right here is your um, your fog light control all right there's your push button start there so let's look over here we kind of have a kind of a traditional digital clock there in the center top center and you, it's real easy to, to adjust the time there and um, so it's letting me know there that the airbag is off on the passenger side because there's no passenger there so there is a sensor in the seat that that turns it on and off so here's a big touch screen here you do have your traditional volume knob and tune through the stations knob your CD player there at the top center and um, does have like a play and pause button and eject buttons and all that stuff for the CD player so here on the on the sides you have some buttons, but also you have you know most of the, uh, the buttons there on the screen too. So right now I've got it in the apps section, and this is where you can access just about everything: your navigation, your audio, your phone, messages, um, eco setup, eco setup, uh, your traffic, and your uh, ability to um, 
Now the driver easy, easy speak, it basically amplifies your voice a little bit for the people all the way in the back to hear you. It amplifies your voice through the sound system, which is pretty cool. So let's go to navigation. So you can see what the map looks like. Um, there's the top down view and you can you know change it to different views you can zoom in and out get your bearings that kind of stuff you, should, you can also put in a destination uh, like a specific address you can put in your home address and just hit go home go, go home uh, you can have an address book um, destina different destinations you've already been that kind of stuff and audio that's for like your radio AM FM satellite radio you can play music through a Bluetooth device auxiliary input and also, this is for your um, your Bluetooth system back there. Plus, you have a USB drive to where you can play music through that as well. So there's lots of different ways of playing music through this system. So now this home button, pushing that home button will put take me to um, a screen where it has a half navigation and half um, other information. So if my radio is on, it can this will pop up here. We can turn the Easy Speak on and off here. And then you can also, once your phone's connected, we'll have some information there. So you'll have your radio. Put that there. Just because I accidentally touched it. Let me go back to the home. So you got your radio or your, your easy speak, your phone, and also your navigation all on one screen, which is pretty cool. And that's your home screen. Then you've got some your phone button there, seek through the stations there. This is not a button here. This is where your SD card goes in for your uh, navigation to be updated. So down here, we've got some climate control buttons. This is your four-way flashers, emergency flashers, your defrosters, and you do have a dual zone, actually a tri-zone, because you have the rear temperature as well. But So you can adjust the different temperatures using the dials, and you can sync them if you want to, so that way everybody's got the same temperature and you can adjust your span speed and um, you can you know lock out the rear to where you can control it up here or you can control it in the back all right so down here like I was talking about before that has this really cool pocket that goes all the way storage shelf I guess you can say all the way here and it's pretty good size my cell phone uh, fits in there quite nicely plenty of room has these little dividers in here so I guess you can put a phone here if it was smaller, and then you've got a divider over there. All right, so down here we have a power supply, and this is where you'll find your USB port and your auxiliary input for your radio, for playing stuff through your radio, also charging stuff with the USB. And your trash control button here, you can turn it off if you need to. If you need to spin tires, you can turn it off. It's default on. And uh, this button right here is for snow. So you're just telling the vehicle that you need some help getting through some snow. And typically, uh, I don't know the technology on how it works it exactly, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't really want to comment on it because I don't have any experience with driving in snow with that particular feature. So. It just lets the vehicle know that you are driving in snow and it'll it'll adapt itself accordingly. So here is the shifter. And um, so let's go ahead and cycle through here. So let's put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera pop up. And it does have a wide angle view so you can see all the way around and bumper to the sky. You also have guidelines and um, you know show you you know which direction, you know, how big your vehicle is when you're backing up, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go down the neutral, let's go down the drive. That's your normal drive position where you're driving around normally. Slide it to the left. This is where you got um, your sport mode. So when you're in sport mode here, you can cycle through the gears like a ratchet shifter. So I can go forward, forward and back. And it'll show you what gear you're in here on the center screen. So I'm not sure how far out of range it'll allow you to go. It may not allow you to go too far, like starting off at six gear, that kind of thing. But it does have the ability to, you know, have some adjustments on the gear ratio. All right, your heated seats are here. And um, so you do have the ability to have hotter, you know, you can adjust them for the driver and passenger. So this big center console armrest thing is pretty interesting. Um, it opens up like a roll top desk. So pushing this in releases that part 
and then you push this in it releases that part and it opens up you got a 12 volt power supply down there and then you have this kind of shelf thing that you can actually take out if you wanted to and you got a whole bunch of space now that's going to get really cluttered so just really, just kind of warning you now that um, you're gonna you're gonna clutter that up and it's gonna be hard to clean so anyways you got that storage space and it's pretty easy to get to and I like the way those things roll out of the way it's pretty neat up here we have an auto dim rear view mirror and you can turn that feature on and off here if you need if you want to and place to put your sunglasses is here right in there it also has a conversation mirror so where you can keep an eye on the backseat drivers and uh, you do have the garage door opener controls here with your home link system and um, so you're, you do have these lights that tap on you have an individual light for uh, reading or whatever you can turn all the lights on here in the whole vehicle or you can make it to where they uh, they um, when the door opens it will they'll turn on or you can make it to where even if the door opens they don't they don't turn on at all that's what that button's for now this does have a sunroof right there and we can we can vent it up like so we can also open it like that or on a real hot day like today um, we can just close the shade and that way you don't have to worry about the sun being on you Alrighty, so let's take a look at our visibility. All right, there you have it, 2015 Toyota Highlander. I'm really impressed with the, one of the things I just want to mention, I had, before I put the shade in, the sun was beating on, like just shining directly on the seats. And I was like, man, the seats are going to be hot. But actually, when I got in, the seats weren't that hot. I was really surprised. Um, so I don't know if that has to do with the, the UV uh, blocking windshield or a combination of that and the light colored seats but um but yeah it wasn't very hot when i actually sat in the seats unlike my car that has black leather where when the sun just shines on it it turns to hot lava <laughs> but anyways um thank you for watching and i really appreciate your time if you have any questions if you have any experience with a vehicle like this i'd really like to hear from you and uh, in the comment section um you know any clarifications anything i got wrong or did, just skipped over didn't get right uh didn't explain properly please um you know leave that stuff in the comment section i'd really appreciate it to help me and help anybody else that's watching the video so thank you for watching thank you to sparks toyota for allowing me to show off an awesome car and i'll see you next time